Welcome back to uh, Resident Evil, everybody. So, in the last episode, we were hunted in these fine halls, and things were not going as well as they could be. However, they certainly weren't going terribly. Now, we have two hunters to get past, which... We're going to try and do that now. Uh, I don't really want to kill these hunters because I want to save the ammo, but I don't think we have a lot of choice. Oh, that just... Okay, that was bad. <sighs> Sometimes they go down. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they jump. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes you can get a good shot off. Sometimes you can't. They're not very predictable. At least I'm not finding them predictable at all. Maybe there are subtle little ways, but I'm not very good at picking up on these things. Now, there shouldn't be any green boys in here. We should actually be pretty clear of green boys for now. There is possible Possibly, oh god, no, 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 there's still some upstairs, there's still some up in the, above the dining room, there's still some in the hallway to the other save room that usually has dogs in it, I think, uh, nah, there's, no, 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 we've still got a lot of hunters about, and of course we have all the ones downstairs, or down in the, the, the back garden. Oh. <sighs> in the underground right anyway let's go on a bit of a resource run very tempted to go get those shotgun shells but you know it's just not worth it you're going to take so much damage getting those shotgun shells I just cannot picture any ability or any point where it would be worth doing so. Now we have... What have we got? We've got grenades. We can get the battery. Uh, what we should have done... Oh no, there's fucking hunters up in that other room as well that I'm thinking of. Above the stairs by our save room. We really don't want to fight them. If we can be smart and plan our route so we don't have to fight these hunters, I'm going to be a little bit happier. There was a disc that we can get, I think. Uh, we can get the MoDisc. We need the battery. We don't need the ink ribbons. We have more than enough, I say, with utmost confidence. Now... We don't need to open that door, the the one that Barry gave us the passcode for. I mean, it's kind of useful, I suppose, but bollocks to it. Now, there is a zombie. Let's see if we can get his attention. There we go. Let's see if we can pull him out and around. Uh, was there anything in here? I don't think so. Yes, this was the battery, you fucking moron. Get with the fucking program, Ty. Get with the fucking program. Ooh. Okay, I just shit my pants. I literally just shit my pants. Um, good thing my missus is a carer. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my god, I literally just shit my pants. Come on, you. Look, dude, I just want to get in there so I can get that file. There we go. Come on. You could do this. You used to be some big brainy scientist. There we go. Look at that. Look at you navigating. Look at you. Look at you navigating like a boss. Right, okay. So what have we got here? Scrapbook. Raccoon Times, May 27th, 1998. Animal attack, woman mutilated. May 20th, around 10 p.m., a 20-year-old 
young woman's body was found by a passerby on the left bank of Marble River in the Cider District. Cider District? What? Uh, of Raccoon City. Raccoon police assume it to be a grizzly or other animal doing animals doing because there are teeth marks along her mutilated arms and left foot that shows considerable power. Since she was wearing a hiking boot on her remaining foot, it has been determined that she was attacked in the Arclay Mountains and fell into the river. They are hurrying to identify this woman. Raccoon Weekly, June 16th, 1998. Monsters in Arclay Mountains? Some people claim they've seen monsters in the Arclay Mountains. The monsters are supposedly about the same size as, a la as large dogs and usually run in a pack as wolves do. This may sound like a group of ordinary wild dogs, but these monsters are surprisingly fierce and hard to hurt. They say these dogs won't bother you unless you wake them. So, you smart readers should stay out of the Arclay Mountains for the time being. But if you're looking for adventure, check it out. You want to try? Hmm, carry a... walk softly and carry a big stick, I guess. Uh, Monsters in Arclay Mountains. Mountain road blocked. Due to successfully uh, successive disasters in the Arclay Mountains, the city authorities have decided to block the road leading to the foothills. And at the same time, Raccoon Police intend to begin the search for lost people with the help of STARS team members. They expect great difficulty because of the vast size of the Arclay Mountains and the prime evil forest that covers most of the area. Also, people are still reporting sightings of grotesque monsters in the mountains. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, cool. Well, let's go through here. We need the Mo Disc because... We need to save Chris. There should be another Mo disc as well, because I think there's three. In fact, I don't know why I'm saying I think there's three, because I know there's three. Oh, this isn't a Mo disc. Ah, the Doom Book. Yes, we shall take the Doom Book. Is that all that's there? I say, is that all that's there? That's actually kind of important, really. And that, of course, gives us the medal. We need two medals. So we've got the eagle. We just need the wolf. Okay. Uh, man, would it be so much to ask for? For some shotgun shells or some grenades or something? I like the way that shelf has just collapsed. Books piled up high. Okay, let's get out of here. We don't need to fight that zombie. It's just a waste of ammo. Alright, now, so, we've still got the mansion key. Now, we can go back down to the save room. Did we, we, we did definitely grab everything from that room, didn't we? Because even if there's one little, little 9mm rolling around in there, I want it. I want it. What door haven't we opened? I can't think. Hmm. I know now we have everything we need to go back underground. Which is fine. Oh, I know. Oh, God. I know what room we haven't been in. Uh, there's herbs there. Do we want the herbs? Um, yes, of course we want the herbs. Right, there's a blue herb there that we don't need. There's a Zamble there. Take the Zamble out, I suppose. Why not? Um, now, we can't go through here because the door is locked. That's a fucker, really. Two green herbs, are they worth it? Of course they are, they're two green bloody herbs, so we're going to go grab those. So unfortunately we have to go all the way round. Ah, we have to clear that room out anyway, yeah. Okay, so let's go back round, the long way. Go back to the save spot, get loaded for bear, and think about our life decisions as a hunter is feasting on our entrails.
we still haven't found one of the gems but that should be in the room that we're plotting to get into all right let's get out of here i've always hated the music in here or i guess hate is the wrong way i i've always it it's panicking it's panic inducing and uh yes blind man um the soundtrack in uh, the European version is so superior. Uh, I mean, at least we didn't get the fart track. I still, to this day, do not understand the basement fart track. I don't get it. Because Resident Evil has pretty much always been known for its music, and its music has been absolutely stellar. But why did they change the music for, for the American release of this this game I don't know I don't know I know certain games do do that but it's just very jarring considering this game has such wonderful music such iconic music especially that awful fart track it just doesn't make any sense um, anyway let's get out of here so we need to go up there and I don't know how many hunters are up there. It's going to be more than it's going to be more than one. Uh, we do have the big boy. We do have the big boy. Um, let's put the battery back for now. Our inventory is going to shit a little bit, but fuck it. Really don't need the shotgun. Not at the moment. That's going to be famous last words, isn't it? Let's put the shotgun back for now. Uh, we will keep the herb on us. I hope we're okay using all this grenade ammo. I can't believe we've used all of our acid rounds. We've burnt through the whole fucking lot. But, you know, we kind of had no choice. I'm pretty sure there's three hunters in this, this corridor. And if we're lucky, we only have to deal with two of them. There's one that way. There's got to be one. No, there isn't one down here. We might get away with not having to deal with these hunters. Okay, that would be a good thing. We may get away with this. So let's have a little look in here. What's in here? We've got the note, which we assume is the note to Wesker, I think. We'll have a read of that in a second. Yes, thank you. Full metal jackets, thank you. Uh, and there's a box of shotgun shells there, which, well, sure. That's never going to be a bad thing now, is it? Um, right. We also need to read this note. Orders. Top secret, July 20, uh, 22nd of July, 1998. To the head of the security department, X day is approaching. Complete the following orders within the week. Lure the members of STARS into the lab and have them fight with the BAW in order to obtain data of actual battles. <laughs> it just seems weird, but sure. Collect two embryos per BOW, making sure to include all species except for Tyrant. Interesting. Destroy the Arclay lab, including all researchers and lab animals, in a manner which would seem an accident. White umbrella. Oh, interesting. All right. Right, let's shove you down there. And give this a switch. This is a very quaint little room, isn't it? Yep, so that is still there. That's good. Come on. There we go. Now, of course, the enemy should reset. Will you try and take out the eyeball? Aight. So, I don't know what that's going to give us. I can't remember. But hopefully it's something good. I don't know why we turned that back on. There's no need to, but phew, it just it feels right, you know. 
and we can get some herbs back here which is good really don't want to miss uh, yeah it should have that cool it's annoying that you can only open this door from the outside and you can't do it from the inside bit weird but whatever game whatever fuck you game now where were our precious little herbs this is where that zombie bastard was hiding and there's you I'm gonna try and not wake you up uh, oh shit might have to leave that blue there but then you know it's only a blue fuck the blue we don't need it okay that's better and I thought I was going to run into that guy then and I was just about to scream bloody murder okay let's go now if we're quick we can avoid the hunter because we don't need to fight him so we won't be fighting him we're going to need all this ammo for a little bit later on okay so before we go back to the item box, let's go and use that um, gem and see what it's going to give us. Oh god, we can't, can we? We're out of, no, no, no. <laughs> I was going to say we're out of space, but we're going to use the gem, so that's going to free up a slot, so that's fine. Now, there was a little bastard hunter hiding down here. But of course, we iced them all with the uh, the acid rounds. That was a good idea to save all those those fucking acid rounds. Right, what are you gonna be? Guess some kind of ammo. What? What? Are you actually kidding me? Eighteen magnum rounds. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a pack of shotgun shells. Or maybe... I don't know. It's grenade ammo? Three packs of magnum rounds. Well, that's going to come in crutch, I would imagine. Or should I say clutch? Should I say crutch? It's on my, my, my brain. I think my blood coffee level is quite low. Well, that could be uh, being balanced out by my adrenaline level, which this game is shooting through the roof. Hmm. Okay. I did not expect three packs of Magnum. I'm trying to remember what Jimmy got in his with Chris. Because obviously he hasn't done his Jill LP yet. Uh... Hmm. Okay. Uh. Oh man. Oh man. How beautiful is that? 36. That gives us 42 magnum rounds. 42 magnum rounds. Um, do I want to save it before heading outside? That's a hard possibly. got a lot of ah we did get yeah the other pack of shotgun shells as well which were quite nice okay so our health has definitely been reduced but not massively we've lost a lot of good health um we don't need those i mean we do need those but we don't need those yet Shotgun. Should I take the shotgun back out the box? Maybe, I guess. No. Maybe we will. Maybe we will. We just load it up with seven shells and then keep that in our back pocket for now. Just in case we come up against anything a little bit juicy. Uh, we do need the battery. We need the battery and we need... We've only got one Modisk. I know we get one in the underground. So we will take... We need the crank as well. 
Yes, where's the crank? Come on, come on, don't hide from me. There we go. So that should be fine. Now, as long as we're careful, we should be able to get back without too much incident. Um, let's go the way that's mostly clear. It's the longer way round, but if it's clear, it's clear. I don't really want to risk running into hunters and bullshit like that. No, sir. No, thank you. No, thanks, chief. I'm quite all right. Now, there is hunters above in the dining room, but hopefully going this route, we will be able to avoid them. Potentially, we could go back through we could go back through that way, but no. Let's go back through the dog hall. Uh, yeah, hunters above us. There's three. There's at least two hunters above us, possibly three. They say when we're playing the normal difficulty, we can go for an extermination run. No worries, but playing this difficulty? No thanks, chief. Now, I don't know what's going to be in the dog hall. Spiders in the first zombie hall was a bit of a shock, not going to lie. In this hall, there's probably hunters? No, I can hear them. This, it's spiders. It's spiders, that's fine. We can handle the spiders, because we can just fucking fuck off past them. Now, in this room, there's definitely hunters. But, as we don't need to come back here... Hey, friend. We can just charge past him. No fucks given. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. You're going to be incinerated. Now, this area is clear. Let's... Think about saving our game. I know I'm being very careful with the saves, uh, <laughs> very careless with the saves, but I don't care, <laughs> to be honest. I don't want to replay masses and masses of this game uh, every time we die, which has already happened. Having said that, what I could do. Yeah, because we never have to come back here. I can't remember if when we go downstairs... Fuck it, let's just go. We don't need to save it here. I can't remember if when we go downstairs. If... Hmm. If we actually have a... I know we've got a save room, but where the box room is... Downstairs, I can't remember. Uh, oh, that's fine. Well, let's go back through here. We're not going to save it. We're going to live dangerously. Oh, bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Why is there hunters here? Bullshit. Ouch. Fucking bullshit. That is such horseshit. A fucking hunter out here. Why? Why, why do that? Are we no, we're still on fine, so it didn't really hurt us. But that was bollocks. That was actual horse shit. Didn't sound like there's anything out here. Okay, cool. That's fine. Jill, you just hold on to that grenade launcher for now. You hold on to that sucker. Okay. Right. So we've got the battery. We've got everything we need. We've got these bloody danger noodles now. Let's go dodge the nope ropes. Oh god. Okay. Oh, oh you little tosser. You almost had us. Good thing we've got lots of blue herbs. 
I'm very much a fan of having all those blue herbs. Okay. Nothing out here? Okay, cool. Nothing out here. Good. Right, let's get that in and get back up. Then we'll go turn the water off and then head down below. And we're making some solid progress here as well. It's just the underground. The underground is just packed. Packed. With bloody hunters. Oh, yes, we'll take the garden, sure. Right, cool. Now, let's go turn the water off. I hope bloody hunters don't spawn here. And although they show you <laughs> quite clearly that hunters are quite smart, and they can open doors. I'm glad they don't. Okay, cool. Um, right. Let's give that a crank. Now, I remember when we first ever came down here. Uh, when we was all playing this together as kids. It was... Not a fun place to be, really. It's, I think, this underground bit, although it's fairly short, is my least favourite place in this game. I don't know why, I just don't like it. Kind of like the sewers in Resident Evil 2, I just, I don't know. I, there's always a part of a game that I don't like. Um... Thank you. <laughs> I was going to say. Uh, lift, go down, please. I'm not looking forward to my Chris run. Chris is a tank. He can take a lot more health, but I know there's going to be lots more backtracking because he can hold two less items, which doesn't sound like a lot on paper, but in practice, yeah, in practice, that's quite white a drop a noticeable drop okay so hmm. now my memory of this area is not great you can save your progress with this we'll use the ink ribbon uh, not yet oh we are actually on half an hour so yeah that's we don't have the crank the correct crank for that one. Uh, let's explore this a little bit more before we save it. Just a little bit more. Oh, Baza. Oh, Jill. What good timing. A moment ago, I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Let's go together since it's dark and we can't see very well. Mm -hmm. Will you go with him? Yes. Okay, let's go. Okay, then I'm gonna cover you. Let's hurry. Hey, are you all right? I can go first if you want me to. Uh, yes. Oh, yes, please. I'm a little nervous. I understand. It may be more dangerous if you come behind me. Be careful. God, the, the, <laughs> the dialogue is so bad. So deliciously bad. Okay. Ooh. Perry? Ooh. Right. Where's Bazza gone? I can't actually remember what way around he goes now. I think he goes through here? Ooh. Nice shot, Bazza. That was too close. Let's go together. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to cover you. Let's hurry. Okay, you do that, Baza. Uh, right. That was a bit intense. Um, now, ooh, don't mind if I do. It's a power generator, but it does not seem to work. Now, in the original, 
No, in the remake, sorry, you actually have to use that power generator, but I don't think we have to use it here. Uh, yes. Don't have to ask me twice about that. Right, come on, Baza. Um, I guess, is there anything over here? No, nothing. And hey, nothing, man. Nothing. Uh, so we've got that door there, and that door there. Where are we on the map? I hate this place. I do. So we're there. Okay, so one of those doors leads... I think that's the door that leads back around. Where does this one lead? Does this lead to where our friend gets shot? I think so. Okay. Yes, it does. Is that Jill? That is Jill. Is that voice <clears throat> Enrico's? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah? You're alive! Wait there! Are you with anybody, Jill? What? Oh, yes! Enrico! So, Barry and Jill together. Uh, yeah? Are you all right, Enrico? The stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Ha! Ooh. Well, bugger me. Uh, unfortunately, Enrico has bought the farm. He couldn't have moved because of this injury. He's holding something. Yeah, he should be holding some rounds for us, I think. Oh, no, he's got the crank. Uh, doesn't he hold ammo as well? I'm sure he's got some bullets. Barry is investigating. Well, I don't think there's a lot left to investigate, Baza. No, maybe he doesn't have bullets. Could have sworn he does. Also, that's different because usually uh, he drops. I think there's some like grenade ammo back here or something, and Wesker. At, oh God, yeah. Well, we don't actually have to come back here, do we? We don't. Uh, so, let's just run past this hunter if we can. Which we should be able to. Now, there's more hunters in this room, I believe. Yes, but again, I don't think we actually ever have to come back here either. Fuck you, Hunter. Fuck you. Have I gone the wrong way? Yes. Shit. Ouch. Oh, God. Ouch. Okay, <laughs> I'd rather take a few hits and save the ammo than get sliced. Oh, God. Right, okay. We're on fine. I mean, it's not good fine, as Jimmy explained. But it's it will do. Um, okay. Uh, so, we've got the crank. And we've got the crank. But that is the crank that we want. Now, let's get this turned around. Could really use an item box. I think there's an item box through that door. If memory serves. Man, I hate this underground passage so much. Just something about it makes me nervous. Um, pretty sure. Can't we like crank that again? And we get like a secret door. Yeah, my memory of this bit is a bit rough. 
I did actually start playing back through this game again, but I haven't had time to finish it. No, I guess not then. I guess I'm thinking of the remake. Well, this is gonna suck. Okay, do you wanna crank it once more? Third time's a charm, I suppose, Jill. I mean, we're saving a lot of ammo by not killing all of these uh, hunters. At least I'm trying to rely on my old fuzzy memory. Um, and I'm pretty sure we don't have to come back through those rooms. So we're saving us a lot of bullets. Now, uh, this way. Ooh. I'm on like nearly 40 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to save it. Yeah, we're, we're on like 40 or bloody minutes. So that's fine. You can save your progress. So we're going to drop a save here. I don't like saving it here because although this is an obvious typewriter and there for the purpose of uh, saving, it, always just, it just feels strange to drop a save there. Give me a save room or nothing, damn it. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we're going to continue exploring. And yes, now this is close to where Chris gets. Actually, I think Chris would have got the flamethrower by now. But we, oh, God, we've got to fight Black Tiger. Well, actually, I'm going to try a strat that Jimmy showed me. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try it. Um, it's a very interesting strat that I never in a million years would have thought of, but it seems to work quite well for him. Hmm. So, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.